Sunday, I'm starting a new vlog. So, today I'm headed into Bath really quickly and then I'm going to Coat Brasserie with one of my clients, Camilla. Uh, and yeah, there's like, I think it's like a summer rose event. And then after I go to Bath with Camilla, uh, I'm coming back to Bristol and just going right back there and then going and getting some M tone. I should have had another appointment last week, so I'm a little bit behind with my sessions, but so many things to do, so little time. happy monday the time is flying i wanted to set these videos to go live like at the same time as the course was going on but oh my gosh life has caught up with me so you're probably watching this when the course this round of the course the secrets of the elite women women woman is done <laughs> Anyways, it's a new week. My friend Lisa, she's coming over and we're gonna have a work session, but I had to shoot for a campaign. I'm doing some editing of the first week's video and uploading stuff for a course that I'm doing. So lots of screens, so little time. And then when Lisa comes over, I've got to cook some lunch. So yeah, I thought I would just keep you updated with what I'm doing. I'm nice and ready. No extensions in today because I was filming for a hair campaign. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I feel like I don't have anything to update you on just today. Actually, most of this week, I'm gonna be in the house where last week vlog, you would have seen I was out every single day. So I have to play catch up a lot. This might be a little bit more of a boring vlog, but it happens sometimes. But I think where I have slid on my elegance journey is getting up, working out, and ensuring that I still look presentable even though I'm still in the house. So that is what will be holding myself accountable to <laughs> this week. Anyways, I'll update you when there's something else going on. Hello, good morning. <laughs> A rainy day in England. I haven't vlogged in a few days because I've just been working and there literally was nothing to show you. I was either at a client or at my desk. But today I am off to get my hair done. I haven't had my hair done since October 2019. It's almost October 2021. I really wanted to have most of the dye or the bleach grow out of my hair and those are just at the tips now and I also found somebody that does hair really naturally so yeah I feel like it was like about time. But I emailed her or sorry DM her three months ago and this was the first appointment that she had so <laughs> she's very booked up so I'll show you what I get up to when I'm getting my hair done and then I actually have to run into a client right after that when I come home if I don't do it when I come home I'll do it on Saturday I do have client visits the rest of the week but I'm going to a wedding on Sunday and I did just pick up a dress and it's so nice I can't wait to show you
To be honest with you, it's a lot lighter than I had thought, but I, but I like it. I definitely like it. I feel like it's not showing the true tone, hence my stuttering right now. It's definitely a lot more illuminated and like warm than it looks right now. I'll actually put a picture that the hairstylist took when I was still in her chair right here. And then you can see like more of a true representation of what it's like. I really haven't spoken too much. <laughs> it's been such a busy week and today's no different. Today I am running into one of my clients right now and I'm going to just go take some pictures. Maybe I'll be able to show you a little bit of that. Um, uh, and then I'm going to hypnotherapy, which I'll try to show you some of that. And then I am going and getting my lashes done, which I will show you some because I'm doing something. I'm going to try something a little bit different. So I'll show you some of that and then I'll talk to you about that after. Then I have to go back to my other client that I got the Botox at and I have to just kind of have like a follow-up appointment to make sure that everything's all right because it's been two weeks. And if you can see, I still have so much movement in my face, um, but I definitely think a lot of the lines have chilled out a bit. And then I think we have to run to one of Paul's friends outside of the city and then I'm supposed to be doing a live. So it's a really busy one. And then I think I might be doing some filming because I have to get it across to my cousin who does my editing. So, um, busy, 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 busy one. Let's get going. <laughs> but let me show you what I have on. I just have these like Zara, are they culottes on? I need to find some different tops for it, I think. And then a M & Co long sleeve lace top and then this little trench and mine the floors. I didn't seal it after painting it white, but then just these little slides. So anyways, let's get going. I don't know if she's gonna do everything or if she's just gonna do this area that she didn't get to do. I'm hoping she does everything. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm up to today. Let me show you what I'm filming at Queen Clinics today. my appointment and as you can see <laughs> we only did this section of my lip which 
what can I do? So the thing is, is that what the lady who's doing my lips, what she told me is, is that the rest of the pigment that she put on like this bit of my lip, which you would have seen in the first vlog, it takes 60 days to develop. So she was like, I can't do the rest. And by the way, I know I look terrible. I got caught in the rain, but um, she said it takes 60 days to develop, to develop. Now, be it that it takes 60 days to develop and we're only like 21 days into that. No, 14 days into that. Um, She didn't want to touch up this area because we can't even see what areas need to be worked on because it hasn't fully developed. So she only did here. Uh, the tattoo gun that she has now is way better than the first tattoo gun that she has. So I feel like this is already showing such a beautiful result even though it's not fully done yet. I feel like this was way better than the rest of this was two weeks ago, if that makes sense. I'm trying to think what else did I have to catch you up on? Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to be ending this vlog here. I did I show you my extensions? I don't think I did. Okay, I got new hair extensions because obviously I got my hair colored. Uh, let me show them to you. They're right here. So they're just from Beauty Works. Let me close this door so you don't get the light from back there. But you get a Pomeranian calendar. But I got these Beauty Works extensions. I'm going to a wedding tomorrow, so I wanted to make sure that I had the extensions in time. It's a pretty good match. My natural hair is just the tiniest bit warmer, but I just ordered some blue shampoo. So purple shampoo helps people that have blonde hair. And you know when you have blonde hair and the hair is going a little bit yellow, blue shampoo helps when the hair is going a little bit brassy. So I don't think that this is a little bit brassy necessarily. I think it's a nice color but obviously in comparison to the extensions and as this toner wears out wears off over time i know that it's gonna go a little bit more brassy so i picked up the blue shampoo i'm trying to think what else did i have to tell you oh right i got a dress so i'll show you the dress that i'm wearing tomorrow for the wedding it is so nice i love chi chi for any type of occasion wear i feel like they've got a good range now i had two dresses well i had i was sent one dress from chi chi which i feel like you would have seen in a previous youtube video but they sent me the dress i think in like eight April, but it's just hugging my curves a little bit too much so I didn't really feel like it fit the occasion so I ordered this next dress let me go pop it on and I'll show it to you it is so nice so I just received a little bit of PR that I thought I would show you this one is from Yardley and Fortnum and Mason's so uh I think they have Britain's like most iconic brands in here so Twinings, Walkers, Yardley which really this is what the press pack is for Fortnum and Mason's High Grove Organic Farmhouse Chutney. Go on. You know you're going to say it. Chutney. <laughs> Actually, I haven't tried this yet, but I will let you know how I get on with it. I'm sure it's really, really nice. And then the next bit of PR that I have is just this oil minimizing toner with salicylic acid. I've never tried anything from First Aid Beauty, so I'm excited. I think I mentioned on my channel here, I definitely must mentioned it on Instagram, that I'm looking at incorporating more clean beauty products uh, to my regime. So I don't know how this compares, but I did just get recommended to an app. I think it's called Think Dirty or, or Dirty, some, Dirty Something, where you just scan the barcode on the back and it will tell you how bad the product is or how good the product is so I'm gonna scan this in there right now and I'll report back so this is what I'm wearing it's just a dress from Chi Chi I think it's really nice I mean I'll obviously have my hair curled and the extensions and whatnot but look at the back very very nice I might have to I might have to pin it because so the problem is with outfits or dresses for me is that my shoulders are quite narrow, but then my hips are quite wide. So finding something that will fit nicely over the hips often means I have to go up a size. But when I go up a size, we end up dealing with this. So if I had ordered it in time, I could have probably had it altered, but I'll probably just use a couple safety pins and pin it to my bra for tomorrow. That is it for this vlog. It's been a bit disjointed, but thanks for sticking with me. And I will see you on Monday for a new vlog. I'm going to be shooting a lot of content this next week, so I'll bring you along.